through Charlize's interpretation, of course, but then when I read the script, I, I loved her so deeply and I, I really felt like I could take care of her. The only thing I found very intimidating was George had a very specific image of how he wanted me to hold my face and that really only left me my eyes for a lot of the movie and I had to just trust George and I feel like if you're ever going to do a leap of faith in such a way like that it's there's no one better to do it than with George Miller and in a Mad Max movie so I had to hope that he would catch me through Charlotte. I just deeply wanted to protect her you know she has this insane resilience in her but also a commitment to an impossible hope she just felt like a really rare thing in the wasteland, like a marvelous, marvelous creature. And I, I just wanted to take care of her. Absolutely, but it's what I wanted. Like I knew that I wanted something that was going to test me in every way, shape or form. And I got that experience. I think anybody that's attracted to making a Mad Max movie, if it's not arduous in some way, I personally would feel cheated. Like, that's not what you go to the wasteland to do. You go to the wasteland to work hard and to hopefully attempt the impossible. I, I hoped because Fury Road had been made, this would be a different experience. I think we all went on to make this, you know, not excusing any kind of behavior, but we all went on to make this like wanting to be extra kind to each other. And especially for me personally, you know, I'm a big George Miller fan. I wanted to make sure that he felt respected and heard and and cared for on set. That was something that I wanted to do. I, I, it became a personal, a deep personal enjoyment when I could out weird George Miller or when I could kind of like out gore him. But that's more where I would get confused. I would suggest something and he'd be like, Anya, that's so violent. And I was like, what do you mean? Look at the world you've created. <laughs> what is the, the, the time count on that, that lengthy sequence 78 uh, it, days bud <laughs> 78 days actually someone earlier today showed me a video of myself from b-roll of the day that we finished and my level of excitement is like <laughs> through the roof <laughs> i'm handing everybody a single rose like we did it i mean what is it like is it just piece by piece is it mo like se second by second Piece by piece, second by second, section by section. I think I found that really helpful because the entirety of it, at least for me, plays out on a war rig. I could kind of count myself down. I was like, okay, I've been below the vehicle and now I'm on the side of the vehicle and I finally made it into the cow catcher and oh my God, I'm standing. This is better. 